who don't even test don't have. If you don't test, you don't have any cases. If we stop testing right now, we'd have very few cases, if any. Again, our testing is so far advanced, it's so much bigger and better than any other country that we're going to have more cases. We're always going to have more cases. And as I said this morning, that's probably the downside of having good testing, is you find a lot of cases that other countries who don't even test don't have. If you don't test, you don't have any cases. If we stopped testing right now, we'd have very few cases, if any. But we do. We're at a level that Mike is going to talk about that's so high. but. Uh, we will show more more cases when other countries have far more cases than we do. They just don't talk about it. But the testing, on the other hand, is very good because we find out where it's going, how it's going, who it's going to, and we take care of it. I can take a knee with the community to, 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 to Ghana and broker peace, then I'll get on my knee every day. Stop mob violence and we'll stop it cold. Are now in close communication with state and city officials in Minnesota, and we're coordinating our efforts with local law enforcement all across our nation. I will not allow angry mobs to dominate. It won't happen. I understand the pain that people are feeling support the right of peaceful protesters, and we hear their pleas. But what we are now seeing on the streets of our cities has nothing to do with justice or with peace. The memory of George Floyd is being dishonored by rioters, looters, and anarchists. The violence and vandalism is being led by Antifa and other radical left-wing groups who are terrorizing the innocent, destroying jobs, hurting businesses, and burning down buildings. 